Tuzi Monsieur Tuzi Tuerliste Oui, oui, ma petite chaton. J'aime Jésus, l'asphalte mouille. Just a point. You might be asking. Tuzi, what qualifications do you have as a professional in a field to make a tier list that we should trust? First of all. <laughs> second of all, I'm the author of the bill that killed every boss in one hit. I made both melee and range bills that consistently kill any boss in one second. I even have my name in a fucking patch notes next to words calculation of the damage value. What else do you fucking mean? Since we established that I'm knowledgeable enough to have my say, I present to you a tier list. In a to the point fashion, we'll be quick and I'll explain everything as I go. If you want details or have questions, feel free to leave a comment or come to our Discord so I can personally explain to you how fucking stupid you are. To the point, melee tier list. Enjoy. Tin Axe, crafted on a tin anvil, one of the earliest weapons in a game you can craft. All axes have a charged attack that not only provides additional damage, but also hits in an OE, especially helpful early in a larva biome. Perfect starting weapon. Battle Axe, arguably best weapon in the game, drops from cabling brutes, malugas, and iron chests. When leveled to max, provides insane damage in all stages of the game. Easily got tier. Octoring Axe, crafted on an octoring anvil. Great transition from anything as soon as you get your hands on Octorine. Anchor Axe, drops from Omoroth. Fucking bullshit knockback that does nothing good, but has good damage, so that's something. Pandorium Axe, crafted on a Rift statue. Decently good, on hit has 50% chance to apply minus movement speed, good burn, stun, or poison effect. Inconsistent, very anti-game craft, and on top of that, has less damage than leveled Battle Axe. Worse effect, and the same durability. Broken Handle from Azios Titan. Runsong is decently easy to find. You can obtain it as soon as wall drops. Fastest way to find it is here. Generally, a good sword with good effects, but combined with a good build, it becomes a go-to hardcore strat. If enough of you cry loudly for me to show you this unit of a build, I'll make a separate Runsong guide, which basically makes you unkillable and have more HP than 90% of the mobs on hard. I hope you see why it's so cool. The Larva Spike Club, crafted in a Gorm statue. Too late to be good, has a knockback which does more bad than good, provides nothing but wasted space. Crystal Shard Club, from Crydra the Ice Titan, or Solar Ray Chests. Very much the same as Larva Club, knockback is garbage, slow attack speed. The only reason it's not down there is because it has high damage out of the box. Right click is absolute garbage, especially when you find out that it doesn't scale with anything and deals 80 damage. Cool cool. Tentacle Whip, from Octarine Chests, Tentacles, or City Chests. The strongest base damage weapon in a game. With the right build and high melee damage buffs, it can become a very strong alternative to Axis, but due to lack of effect, it strongly relies on upgrades or armor. Poison Sickle, very situational weapon. You will find it either from Cicada Scene or dropped from Ivy, which is more likely. When farming Ivy, you'll also get an Ivy set, which combines perfectly with the Sickle. In right build, it can be a decent weapon. Atlantean Worm Sword drops from an Atlantean Worm, which is arguably one of the easiest titans. Atlantean Worm Sword has one of the highest DPS amongst other melee weapons, and is a highest damage sword, which makes him a good weapon to run while you're focusing on fighting better weapons, or materials to level them up. Having lifesteal and damage to bosses does help with the progression. Rusty Dagger drops from Glorch or from Copper Chests is a garbage weapon, but a perfect tool to level melee. If you don't want to bother with early brute farm, you would go and make a Hive Mother farm, Rusty Dagger has the lowest damage of all daggers and has the fastest attack speed, making it an ideal tool to level melee without killing mobs too fast. How to set up Hive Mother Farm you can find in this video. Copper Sword, crafted on a copper anvil, perfect starting weapon that you can create first 10 minutes into the game, will do a perfect job carrying you to a tin and to a tin axe, the only weapon you need early on. Prehistor <gasps> Prehistoric Crystal Spear. Want to guess why it's got here? If you said, it's because of the bonus melee damage effect. Congratulations, you're gullible as shit. Prehistoric Spear is a very strong weapon damage-wise. It starts as a level 15 weapon, doesn't take any fighting to get, and can be acquired as soon as a wall drops. Meaning, you can find it before you get your hands on Scarlet. As soon as wall drops, just go to the desert, get a shovel, and start digging every digging spot you find. Drop chance for a spear is high as hell, so it will take on average 5-6 spots to find. Having such a strong weapon early on would carry you all the way to Galaxite without any problem. Yet, the damage drops off compared to a unit of a battle axe. Lava battle axe from smoldering chests inside molten quarries. Instead of higher melee damage, it provides burning damage over time. 
which by itself isn't much, but it does combine well with normal and charged attacks, allowing you to apply burning on multiple targets at the same time. Still, it does provide less damage than a battle axe. And guess where everything else goes? That's right. Every single weapon here has a counterpart in its stage or tier that is better, cheaper, easier to acquire or all together. So, unless you are role-playing as a fucking idiot, rethink your life choices. Do you agree with this list? Do you think it's wrong? Let me know in the comments and let's start a heated debate that will end up with one of the parties crying. What? You happy? Good. Subscribe.